versus vinegar cooked pickles. This is a huge distinction. So you are not getting probiotic foods if you are getting cooked foods in vinegar. Now, how do you tell when you go to a grocery store? You just look on the label, and the first ingredient should be salt, and there should be no vinegar. In it. If there's vinegar in it, it's cooked. It's cooked cabbage and vinegar. And you could do that, just get yourself a bottle of apple cider vinegar, right? You just chop cabbage up, you boil your cabbage until it's soft enough for you. And if you shove that in a jar and pressure cooked it, you could save that for a long time. So that's essentially how pickles are made. If you use vinegar pickles, has anyone ever made vinegar pickles? Right, that's basically essentially the process. But there's this other aspect to it, which is the salt brine ferment. And this is what we need to reinvent into our culture. And for anybody who's a fan of esoteric wisdom or alchemy or anything like that, look for those metaphors because they're so permeated in this art. And essentially, fermentation comes not from chemists, it comes from alchemists who use basically an idea that as below, so above. And that if I can understand the process in this vessel, I can understand the process in this vessel. And it turns out that biologists are catching up, the microbiologists are catching up, and they're realizing that those functions are essentially the same. And it's easy to understand why. We're made out of cells. Cabbage is made out of cells. The wall is made out of cells, right? So cells have particular actions. They either expand or contract, right? Or sort stuff out of them or eat stuff. That's basically the function. So now you're all herbalists, because that's basically, if you can understand that, right? That's how herbalists really work.